Okay, today we are going to condition the 9211 loggers with mink oil. So these are made of bull hide. Um, these, this is called a tan rough out bull hide, which is the um, abilene. And I want to make it look like this hawthorn. This is an 8111 and I'm gonna apply mink oil to make it them this dark. Why? Because I'm stuck in the house, that's why. Um, so these are resold. I don't know if you remember what they uh, normally look like. They have that big uh, fat lug sole on there. I had that replaced with the Kemi gum, tan Kemi gum, because I thought it looked nicer. The black with this light I thought was too contrasting. And so I had that uh, removed and put on this Kemi gum with a stacked heel. I've worn these once and um, it is a steel toe. I uh, can't say they were very comfortable. Uh, having the impact, I probably uh, walked um, maybe two miles, three miles in these, uh, maybe two miles, closer to two miles. And um, the, the heel impact on the concrete um, did not go well with my knees that first go. So it wasn't the first, um, wasn't very comfortable the first go round. Um, so I have here a welt brush. I, since the um, Red Wing store I normally go to is closed, I just picked up this brush at my local pharmacy, which is basically the same thing. It's just a um, polished brush made by Kiwi. Uh, it's the same as which, with uh, the one Red Wing sells with the horse hair. And the guys at the shop, they, um, here's the mink oil. The guys at the shop, what they normally do is they will um, dip the brush in and then apply it. I normally, as you guys know, use my, my um, fingers, my hands for that, but um, I'm gonna try the brush to see if it's a bit more even on a rough out. All right, so first we will remove the laces on these. These laces here I've found in, um, at the Red Wing store in Indiana. These are gray and they have like a yellowish, or uh, maybe gray and a light brown, which work really well with these. Um, I These come with the yellow tassin, yellow and orange tassin, which um, I removed. I think I may have put them in, what did I put those in? I think I put those in my harvesters, my brown harvesters just to try them. And um, these I thought looked good. We were going uh, with leather initially, going back and forth, and then we tried another flat lace at Red Wing. And then I came home, I had a lace in here. I came home and then I had these in the uh, 214, hard, no, 214 uh, mock toe, eight inch mock toes. And then um, took those out, put them in, and I thought they looked absolutely perfect. They were a match made in heaven. Okay. So just a quick, since I did wear these, a quick uh, brushing on the welt to get anything off of there. I know a couple of guys at the shop, they really like the original look of these with the black um, lug sole um, and they didn't want me to remove that sole but um, they're not the ones wearing the boot <laughs> so I had it removed I thought it looked it turned out nice um, and then even some of you may be wondering why I'm doing this and like the leather like this um, for me it's a little too light and I'm always afraid of dropping something on that. That's just a, too light for me. And I'm going to do that um, probably to my engineers as well that I have in the same leather. I don't think it's bull hide. It may just be uh, the Hawthorne um, Abilene, I think. I don't think it's bull hide. But this is beautiful. This, in, this inner leather here is just really nice. Um, all right, let's have at it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here on this 
peel just to see how um, it's going to probably look like this until I start to work it and spread it around. But probably these points kind of where you see this is dark is where I'll initially start and then spread from there because I can probably kind of contour the look of that. Wow, so this is interesting, the way that brush kind of makes the mink, gives the mink oil texture. All right, let's try the brush. Yeah, see, doing that, actually, the one thing that helps with the brush is, uh, versus when I use my hand, is getting alongside the welt. I can already tell. But I, I like the way that looks. And if you can see, uh, I can tell right now one thing that's going to be annoying is that there's pieces of the hair from the brush getting caught in the uh, the leather. Not liking that. But um, the one thing, I don't know if you can tell, let's see if I can get a close-up. Um, these boots are very fuzzy. Look at that. So... You see how that leather is? And then with this, it's just going to kind of bring it down and lay it kind of flat. That's kind of the idea. But look, you can see the hair from the brush getting stuck in there. So um, I'll have to just get that out when I give it another absorb. But I really like the way that's looking. The, this is the color that I'm going for versus how light that is. All right, let's see if I can get this back in focus. All right, let's keep applying here. Pretty good. Just get the uh, the tongue there. And then also I have to make sure I get these eyelets, the inside of that eyelets and speed hooks. So that's everything but the toe of the boot. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty neat. So now that I'm going to attack the toe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this initial part here and then bring it up so that this will have like a little bit of uh, contouring darker here and then lighter there, just like along here. And then, then what I'm going to do once I have that laid down, I'm going to spread it to the top. So you see how that got really dark right there in the toe and then just kind of bring it up over it, just like that. It's kind of like if you were drawing and then you were heavy in one end and then you took your finger with the pencil and just kind of rubbed. That's kind of what I'm going for.
So you can see how that looks. So this will be darker here. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Darker here and then bring it up to the top. So we have a little before and after action here. Mink oil treated, and that's the raw. And I can already hear people screaming and commenting, I like the original, why'd you do that? You should have left it alone. But I prefer this look. Let's start on this one now. We're gonna do the same thing. Starting to heal, the heels I should say, and then work my way up. I want you to see how fuzzy these are. Let's try these, go back to that. at that. Very soft. All right. Kind of laying down all that fuzziness. I actually don't mind the brush so much and versus uh, using my hands other than the pieces that are getting stuck in there, but I can easily just peel those off or pull those off. Okay, so now let's attack. Let's see, what did I, oh wait. Get these sides, the upper part.
right, now around the toe again. So again, I'm going to make it heavy here along this end and this end. And on the toe top. And then bring from there up. Just like that. Now on camera, I can see that there's light here and in here. Along here, it looks a bit lighter. to 11 with a coat of mink oil. Looks like I have a little bit here that's a little just based on the camera here. This is where the steel, this is where the toe, steel toe here is. So I'm just going to use the brush. Kind of get in here. All right, so there you go, the 9211 with a fresh coat of mink oil. I'm gonna let these sit before I lace them back up and then look at them, see if there's any spots that I need to attack. But I think they look great. Okay, so now that I have let the boots sit for a bit, um, what I'm going to do is just take a brush to remove these little hairs from the original brush from that I used. Just to take them off really. Some are coming off, some not so much. I may have to go back with my hand and remove them, but Others are just coming right off. All right. Once over with this one. Just gonna lace these back up with the gray laces that I had in there until I find something a little bit different. Maybe something that pops. Um, I will just have to measure these laces and see if I can find something. Maybe a flat, flat lace that can go in here with a nice color. But these will do for now.
that. Looking good. Kind of what I made them look like is um, basically the Hawthorne version of the climber that came out, the 4328, uh, which I thought for me was my favorite release of um, 2019 by Red Wing. And um, when I picked these up, I wanted to make basically the Hawthorne version of those. Um, not putting the green sole on there, but basically the same boot. Well, steel tells the difference with the Hawthorne stacked heel. All right, so there you have it. The 9211 Logger uh, with mink oil and the stacked heel. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.